here is my uh, little submission into Jeremy and Christy uh, the challenge to do pin stash videos <laughs> um, so I do technically own a few more than what you're seeing here but back before we opened up our shop last year I actually sent a few of the pins to a friend of ours um, so they could see exactly what it was that I was talking about. And I don't have them back yet, but that's okay. Um, because, I mean, most of these that you're seeing right here, I only use three or four of them. So, you know, I'm not missing them. So, anyway, let's just take a look at what we got here. Um, let me show you this one first. This one... I absolutely love it is squishy because of the rubber bands but it is so comfortable I use this one a lot I love it it came from tiny puffer fish um, excuse my nails they look horrendous girl oh I need to do something about that but anyway tiny puffer puffer fish um, on Etsy that's where I got this from um, I believe they gave it to she gave it to me as a gift um i'm not sure but i want to get a couple more of these i think because i'm telling you i had hidden this one from myself and i couldn't find it and i was getting upset i love it that much it is super comfortable so i do recommend a rubber band pen like this if you have hand issues like arthritis or carpal tunnel it's rubber bands around a pink pen the pink pen's down in, in the center so it's a little bit bigger than the standard pink pen, but not by much. But it's super comfortable. I love it. My next one, I love this one because it's fun. <laughs> it's wiggly. But the wiggle actually doesn't bother me when I'm diamond painting. It, it motivates me to keep moving so that the wiggle is kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It... It's consistent and like on a beat and kind of puts you in a trance. You know what I'm talking about? Like when them little um, doctor's office things that does the clicking noise and, and you just kind of relax to get into it. Anyway, that's what this does for me. Whatever. Uh, I got from Rachel Way Craft, her Etsy store. Um, I f her store is still closed at the moment on vacation. I don't know if she will have any more of these when she opens back up. But it's super fun. I absolutely love it. Um, let me look at this one. I don't have tips in it. But this one was one of my very first acrylic pen purchases. This is from Daniel at Lassen Lathe Works. That, I think he calls this his Hydro Hollow. But that holographic flake in there, oh man. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, and this pen, it is comfortable for me, the shape of this one. It's kind of like what I call the standard thickness, but it's just kind of like a little hourglass shape there. But anyway, that one, I still really like it, but I haven't used it in a while because, you know, there's no tips. Uh, next up is this one. It's an all wooden one. Um, my husband turned this one on the lathe. Edward did this one. Um... And I'm, I'm hanging on to it. Well, I'm hanging on to it because he gave it to me. Um, he said he was making it for me. But also, it's splintered. I don't know if it's going to focus for you to be able to see. It's so kind of splintered there. So we definitely wouldn't want to try to sell this to anyone because of the splintering. But it's still beautiful. I just want to go over and seal this a little bit um, so that it won't get splinters in my fingers. And then I'll start using it. I think this was a zebra wood is what this was called. But even though it's it's all wood, it's actually very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Now, we did make some that were made out of iron wood that was a little bit heavier. But this zebra wood is actually pretty lightweight. Uh, the next one I have is a Diamond Art Club pin. Um, it was... Whenever it was that they first released this one... And we got it as a free gift or we could select one 
either the washi tape, one of the pins, or that tote bag thing as a free gift. I selected this pin because it's absolutely gorgeous to me. But sadly, I don't know what it was about this one. I tried to diamond paint with it, and it just wasn't comfortable in my hand. It might be the shape. You can see it this is a three bump see there's a bump here and then one in the middle and then one at this end whereas this one it has the divot in the center and see where that kind of rests in my hand this one doesn't have that I, I don't know um, I might give her another go and try again but I just haven't used it that much lately uh, the next one again there's no tips in this one I don't really use it it's pretty thin down here at the end. <laughs> this is one, um, a blank that we bought and Edward turned on the lathe back when he was first experimenting and learning how to make the pins. Um, you see it's pretty skinny down at the ends and pretty thick. Well, not pretty thick, but it's bigger here in the middle and it's, it's too small down here for my hand, but I've just held on to it all this time because it was one of the first ones he ever made. Um, Along with the pack of blanks like this one came this one. That one's pink. This one's like a neon orange. Now this one I use a lot. It's like a four bump. You can see I use it a lot. I've got my, um, this is my six shooter I got from Patriotic Team on here. So I do use this one. Um, but it's just orange. just a very simple four bump and it's pretty comfortable for me. Holding on to, again, I think because it has the dip down here in the middle. So I enjoy using that one a lot. <clears throat> now this one, this one I didn't initially start out intending on keeping. But as soon as Edward made this pin and I saw it, I said, yep, I'm keeping that one. It's mine. And I love it. Um, I've got my single placer and my four placer stainless steel from... Patriotic team on there. Um, and I absolutely love it. The teal color is just beautiful. This isn't a blank that we made. We we bought this blank. And we've become friends with the man that made these. And he's working on three or four other blanks um, that we will soon have available. Actually, we already have wait lists going on for them. But anyway, um, I saw this. Fell in love with it. Had to keep it. Um, I don't use this one as much as I use this one, but I still switch them out. I think the combination of this being resin and wood and having two stainless steel tips on it makes the weight of it a little bit heavier, so I can't use it for long periods of time, whereas this one is all resin and only one stainless steel placer. I can do a pretty good diamond painting session with that one, but that doesn't make me love this one any less um i do think up to this point this is my absolute number one favorite there was one other one um but i let it go <laughs> now this one it's one of our it's a thick pen edward made it it's you know just a pretty basic blank you know nothing special but i kept it because of this right here this captive ring is the first one that Edward ever made. So, I kept it, of course. But, I don't use this pen to diamond paint. Um, you know, the ring falls where your hand is gripping and everything unless you hold it like this. And it's, it's thick. It's too thick for my hand. I need, I need something along, kind of in the middle. But, it's part of my collection, so that's why I'm showing it here. I was very very proud of that moment so it's not the biggest collection I definitely have a lot more I want to add to it but you know easy does it when it comes to me and getting new pins I'm slowly building this collection where you know my diamond painting canvas collection that one just like explodes overnight for some reason but, um, there are so many talented and amazing pin turners and other shops where you buy pins like this one or this one. Um, it's not necessarily a hand-turned pin, but it's still a diamond painting pin. 
and they're still very fun to use. This is soft. It's still very comfortable. There's just so many options out there, so I like to have a lot of these different options. I'm getting close to having another pen, maybe in another couple weeks or so. I might have it, so I'm excited and can't wait to get that one and share it with everybody. Um, so, yeah, this is my my little diamond painting pen collection, my little stash. Um, thanks again, Jeremy and Christy, for putting out the challenge to everyone. I'm enjoying seeing all the, um, all the pen videos, and there's some really, really beautiful pen works of art out there. So, keep on collecting, everybody, because really, it's kind of, you know, limitless as, to, as far as to what, um, what pins are out there. I'm hunting down. I'm stalking one pin turner trying to see if I can grab one, but I keep missing it. So I'm going to keep trying though. Giving up. Giving up is not, not in my blood. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you like my little collection here and I uh, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And if you're a subscriber of mine, I will see you in my next video. If you're not a subscriber of mine, thanks for watching. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. Everyone take care. Stay healthy. And uh, may 2021 uh, be an amazing year for all of us. That's, that's about the best I can put that. So, love you guys. See you later.